Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Eric Brady want to leave his current situation and relocate to Paris. Eric has a photography job waiting for him once he arrives, and he hopes to use this chance to cope with the loss of Jude Brady. Of course, Eric is unaware that Jude is his biological child. E.J. DiMera fought hard to keep Jude's paternity hidden, but Gabby DiMera recently revealed the truth in a very public way. According to Day's teasers, Nicole DiMera will be Ray E.J. for his deception during the week of July 8th to 12th. When Nicole finds Gabby is correct about Jude's father, she will know she must inform Eric as soon as possible. Eric told Nicole he was getting on a plane shortly, so she'll understand time is running out. According to Day's teasers, Nicole will be anxious to stop Eric's travel and reveal to him that Jude is his biological son. Fortunately, DOL fans should expect Nicole to catch up with Eric at the airport and provide some unexpected updates. It will come as a surprise when Nicole confesses that Jude belongs to Eric and that EJ kept it a secret. EJ was unaware of Jude's paternity at first, but he's had numerous opportunities to reveal the truth after Sloan Peterson confessed he wasn't the biological father. Instead, EJ preferred to keep Sloan's mouth shut by assisting her in making a hasty escape, as well as bribing Melinda Trask into silence by assisting her in obtaining that Demera job. Thankfully, Day's reports predict Nicole will have Jude with her when she shares this life-changing news, allowing Eric to reunite with his baby boy and celebrate alongside Nicole. Eric and Nicole will be brought together for a nice family moment, and they may even share a kiss. Eric will undoubtedly prepare to vent his vengeance on EJ once he has heard all of the details and the celebration has come to end. Eric will undoubtedly demand compensation from EJ for passing Jude off as his own. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Eric will face EJ sooner or later, so stay tuned for more predictions on all of the tension and chaos. Tate said that he was taking on more responsibilities and had applied for a position at a country club. Brady wondered if the Demaras belonged to the same club. Tate admitted he might see Holly at the club, but she wasn't the reason he wanted the job. Brady urged that the family take a step back and give each other time. While he acknowledged that Teresa had overreacted, he nevertheless supported her when it came to Holly and Tate. Brady rejected the idea of a summer job. Brady brought up a brochure when Tate asked what he planned to do over the summer. Tate looked at the booklet and objected at Brady's suggestion to send him to a lacrosse camp for the summer. Brady argued that the time away would allow Teresa to cool down, and he encouraged his son to think about it. Tate claimed he had thought about it, then crumpled the leaflet and flung it on the floor. After Tate confirmed that he would not be attending the camp, Brady informed him that Tate had no option in the issue. Tate despised Brady more than his mother since he knew what to expect from his mother. Tate ultimately calmed down, and Brady persuaded his kid to see the camp as a positive thing. When Brady left the room, Tate called Holly to see how she was doing. Both agreed that they were miserable. Tate inquired about Holly's thoughts on running away with him. Stefan and Gabby shared passionate kisses in the jail visiting chamber as they celebrated her freedom. Stefan promised to take Gabby any place she wanted, including Paris and Buddy's burger barn. Gabby said that she wanted to go home more than anything. Ava and Kristen ate dinner at the bistro together. Kristen apologized to Ava for Harris's decision to leave town in search of Kristen's erstwhile sister. Ava suspected Harris had other motives for leaving her, such as a tryst with Stefan. Kristen urged Ava to quit mourning the past. She linked Ava's indiscretion with Stefan on her previous romance with his twin brother, Jake. Ava agreed Stefan's likeness to Jake may have played a role in their attraction, but she insisted no one else, particularly Gabby, would find out about the affair. Kristen assured Ava that her secret was safe with her. The women celebrated Kristen's new position at Demera. When Ava discussed going back to the pub for work, Kristen made a snide remark about her slinging hash for Roman Brady. She proposed that Ava work for her. Kristen argued that she needed a trustworthy ally at Demera. Making EJ mad would also be beneficial. Following the pitch, Ava beamed and declared that Kristen had made an offer she couldn't refuse. Later, Ava called Roman to thank him for his assistance and inform him that she had accepted a new job offer. 
Melinda came at the D. Mara mansion to boast to E.J. about her immunity arrangement. She smugly asserted that E.J. could do nothing to her after telling Nicole the truth about Jude. Melinda told E.J. she wanted vengeance for being fired from her job. As Melinda threatened E.J., Nicole entered the room and inquired as to what was happening. Before Melinda could answer, E.J. said she had intended to thank him. Melinda enthusiastically informed Nicole that E.J. had granted her protection from prosecution. Nicole was enraged and yelled at Melinda about what she had done to her, forcing E.J. to restrain his wife. When Nicole mentioned Eric's name, Melinda thought she might be able to help him. Gabby and Stefan's entrance interrupted Melinda's confessional. E.J. rushed over to the pair and tried to hug Gabby, but she instantly raised her hand to block him. E.J. raved over Gabby's liberation and announced that the family would celebrate with a bottle of champagne. Melinda insisted she would stay, but E.J. labeled it a family gathering and ushered a protesting Melinda out the door. Nicole stated that she was ready to kill that duplicitous shrew, while Gabby joked that it was good to be home. While Stefan and Gabby were sharing champagne, Nicole approached and expressed her wish that she and Gabby could put their history behind them. Both women complimented one other on their recent good fortune. Stefan and Gabby excused themselves to have a hot shower together. Stefan joined Gabby in the shower, and the couple relished their alone time. Gabby admitted between kisses that she wanted one more thing from Stefan. Shave that damn mustache, she demanded. Stefan mocked her about it before grabbing a razor. Gabby and Stefan, who was clean-shaven, later went into the bedroom for their reunion. After making love with Stefan, Gabby called Ari and promised to pay her a visit the next day. Gabby exhaled joyfully as she terminated the call and snuggled with Stefan. She expressed how much she missed being in his arms and praised Stefan for avoiding the temptations of other women. You are the only woman for me, Stefan declared. Gabby rested on his shoulder, while a guilt-ridden Stefan reflected on his affair with Ava. Outside the mansion, E.J. pleaded with Melinda. He offered her a position, but she expressed doubts about his ability to deliver. Melinda threatened to go back inside and tell Nicole the truth. E.J. cautioned Melinda that telling the truth would reveal her identity as a baby napper. He mentioned the possibility of Melinda serving as counsel for Demera Enterprises. Melinda first rejected the notion because she would be working for Kristen, whom she despised due of her involvement in Haley's death. Melinda stated that even if she could work with Kristen, Bell already had the job that E.J. had offered. E.J. informed Melinda that Bell was on leave and assured her that he could contact Kristen to gain Melinda the position. Nicole walked outside before they could finish bargaining and demanded to know why Melinda was still there. E.J. characterized his and Melinda's conversation as D.A. business. Nicole remained cold toward Melinda as she went. Nicole was furious after Melinda left because E.J. had let her off the hook for what she had done to them. E.J. said that his acts were motivated by a strong sense of family loyalty to Stefan. He reminded Nicole that liberating Melinda had enabled him to free Gabby. Nicole grudgingly stepped off, but her rage persisted. Nicole recalled Eric's proclamation that he was leaving Salem. Later, Kristen greeted E.J., who had returned to the mansion. E.J. joked with his sister before stating that he wanted to speak with her about a career opportunity. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.